Thanks. Well, many of you all year long have been showing us that yes, in fact, you can grow it. You've been posting your pictures all year for us on the You Can Grow It Facebook page. So as the season winds down, our garden master, Jim Duthie, shows us what all you've grown this year. Follows here, and most of us gardeners are busy harvesting and preserving our fruits and vegetables and enjoying the last flower blooms of the season. It won't be long before frosty weather puts an end to outdoor gardening for the season. And while many of you are veteran gardeners, some of you developed a green thumb for the very first time. So let's take a look at some harvest successes that some of our fellow gardeners have had this season. It seems like a lot of you grew decorative gourds and pumpkins. Take a look at Lorna Hupp's harvest. She's had quite an assortment of traditional jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, as well as a variety known as white ghost pumpkins. And how about those creepy looking warty and bumpy pumpkins, sometimes called knuckleheads or super freaks. It looks like it's gonna be a fun Halloween at Lorna's house. And here are a couple of pictures that Susie Erickson posted of her harvest of small gourds, mini pumpkins, and patty pan squash. Did you know that there are more than 100 different varieties of squash, gourds, and pumpkins that you can grow in your garden? Speaking of squash, Butternuts are one of the most popular squash varieties grown in home gardens. After zucchini, that is. Caitlin Ferguson shows us her big butternut squash harvest. They're ready to pick when the skin turns tan and hard. But inside, the butternut's flesh is golden yellow and is deliciously roasted, steamed, or microwaved. It also makes a hearty and delicious soup. There's hardly a vegetable garden in America that doesn't grow tomatoes. Clark Muscat had his work cut out for him with his tomato crop, but look at the gorgeous reward freshly canned tomatoes and sauces ready for any dinner recipe. Christmas is still three months away, but Sue Salyer grew her own Christmas tree, complete with decorative ornaments. Actually, it's her tomato plant, and those ornaments are the tomatoes in various stages of ripeness from green to yellow to orange and red. Southwest Idaho has a great climate for growing grapes, and Melinda Kempton had a bumper crop this year, 78 pounds of juicy Concord grapes ready for making some delicious grape juice, jams, and jellies. Not all gardens are about fruits and vegetables. Helena Hansen shows off her beautiful variety of late season clematis blooms, including this delicate pink and purple beauty. There are more than 200 species of clematis, ranging in colors from white to magenta and different shades of purple and blue. You can find dozens of varieties at almost any local garden center. It's October, and Michelle Boland sums up her feelings about the season, saying, let it fall with her collection of festive decorative mini pumpkins and this brilliant mound of golden mums. Finally, Gina Caruso shows us a fun and artistic side of gardening. She saves seeds from her garden for planting next year's garden and stores them in her beautiful hand-designed and hand-painted seed envelopes. I'm sure her flower garden is as pretty as her artwork. Thanks to all of you who posted your gardening pictures, tips, and questions on the You Can Grow It Facebook group page. We'd love to see more of your pictures and share your joy of gardening, because after all, you can grow it. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Jim Duthie. And if you're interested, you can join the more than 4,700 members of KTVB's You Can Grow It Facebook group and post your gardening pictures, share tips, ask questions. We've made it easy for you to join. Just text the word GROW to 208-321-5614. We'll send you a link to join and you can become part of Idaho's fastest growing online garden club.